next Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. We have those high, thin, wispy cirrus clouds from time to time throughout today. Now mostly clear in the springs. Very mild still. 68 is the current temperature. Pueblo, 71 degrees. Mostly clear skies and the wind light or calm in most neighborhoods. Here's your weekend and we are going to see temperatures fall back dramatically by Sunday. Wind in your forecast again and a high temperature of only 58 degrees. Pueblo, that dirty four-letter word, wind. In your forecast, both Saturday and Sunday, Saturday the warmest day. It will be dry throughout the weekend in Pueblo. Here's your extended forecast outlook. We're going to see a little bit of precip hit the Rockies, some snow in the mountains on Friday morning. That will continue into the evening hours. Now, if we're lucky, we could see a couple of light showers across portions of northern El Paso County Friday afternoon. Probably not even enough to settle the dust. That's the way it's looking right now. We're going to see dry conditions around here by sunset Friday evening. Dry skies around here on Saturday. New storm coming in on Sunday. This one, again, taking more northerly track than what we would like to see. Need those southerly tracks to bring us some snow and some moisture around here, but the mountains will get snow on Sunday. Even in Teller County, I think you could see a few passing snow showers Sunday morning, maybe lasting into Sunday afternoon. Big story for us tomorrow, that red flag warning active from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. for all the counties we've shaded in red. You just need to stay away from anything that could possibly spark a fire, and if you happen to see smoke, that's new smoke. Report it to local law enforcement as quick as you you possibly can. Wind is going to be calm tomorrow morning. Enjoy that while you can. During the afternoon, we really start to flare up out of the southwest across the springs. Pueblo, right now, I think you'll miss the worst of the wind throughout the day tomorrow, but the other areas gusts in the teens, 20s, and even into the 30s, and then that wind really starts to shut down after sunset tomorrow evening. Today, unseasonably warm again. Pueblo, you started cold, though, 29 the low, backed it up to 75 this afternoon. Real dry air today in the springs, 31 this morning. Afternoon high temperature of 74 degrees this afternoon. Outside right now, it is nice out there. Despite that sun setting, we're still in the 60s and 70s across a good chunk of the News 5 viewing area. Low temperatures tonight, not as cold as last night. In fact, I've got just about everyone above freezing tonight. And that's a little rare, but that's due to that warm westerly flow, that compressional heating pushing down the east slopes of the Rockies, even across northern and eastern El El Paso County, mid to upper 30s for your overnight low temperatures tonight. Hot stuff coming through tomorrow. It's going to be the warmest day we'll have around here in quite some time. If you're a warm weather fan, you'll certainly want to get out and soak it up while you can. If you're lucky enough to have tickets to that Broncos Chiefs game tomorrow, I'm telling you, for a night game in October, especially mid-October, you're getting a real good deal there. Even by the fourth quarter, temperatures still into the 60s in Colorado Springs. A series of cold fronts to deal with over the next several days. Friday, we're into the 60s, and that cooling trend continues into the weekend. And you can see wind is going to be a way of life around here for at least the next several days. We may even have some wind around here by Monday. Certainly going to get a lot cooler, though, by Sunday, a high of 58. That doesn't sound bad by mid-October standards, but when it's 58, you get strong wind blowing. Certainly going to feel colder than that, so you may need to hibernate inside on Sunday. Pueblo, Great day tomorrow to have lunch in the park, City Park, Mineral Palace Park. Hey, any park, just get out there and enjoy it. 10 degrees cooler with more wind on Friday. That cooling trend continues through the weekend. And there's that word that just won't go away, wind. It is in your forecast. Formulate those plans accordingly. Sunday is going to be the coolest day of the weekend. And also, I think you'll have the strongest wind on Sunday as well. For Canyon City, tomorrow, nice and warm. Enjoy that while you can. You'll have to pay the bill over the weekend with a couple of cold fronts, slicing those temperatures down rather dramatically by Sunday. Sunday, windy, strong wind, and a high temperature of only 63 degrees. I think precip will be non-existent in eastern Fremont County for the next seven days. Wilden Park, a passing shower possible Friday afternoon. Nothing significant. That storm on Sunday could bring a few frosted flakes of snow. Most of the snow, though, should stay off to the west. Afternoon high temperatures falling off. It's going to be cold early next week with temperatures dropping back into the 40s on Monday. It's time for traffic here on News 5. Look at drive times for you. No big problems between Colorado Springs and Denver on I-25, and it is a quick trip up the hill into Woodland Park. That'll only run you 23 minutes right now. No major accidents, no major delays to report to you right now, but there is a hazard on I-25. It's on the south end between Academy and Colorado 16. Uh, it's uh, impacting both northbound and southbound traffic. Guys.